Well, I believe it's it's gathering uh, the the industry leaders from all around the uh, the Gulf and the world. So it's a very good networking uh, and transferring technology kind of uh, opportunity, partnering opportunity for uh, for the uh, both avi from an aviation point of view and uh, from an industry point of view. So it's a it's a very uh, attractive. Uh, gathering or summit for uh, for us as as uh, industry leaders i would say and and i believe we're, it's going to be a, a lucrative opportunity for uh, most of the companies you know and, uh, especially in the middle east the market is booming uh, in terms of aviation you know the demand supply and demand is just getting uh, sky high and the uh, which will eventually leads to a demand of Introducing new technologies uh, in the market to be able to, you know, uh, cope with that uh, evolution in, uh, in the in the market. In terms of Saudi, let's say that uh, we're introducing in the next uh, five years at least uh, another uh, 70 aircraft, which will lead to us as a as a MRO partner to increase the manpower, the facility. So. Uh, for us personally, uh, Saudi Aerospace Engineering Industries, we're, we're moving to a, uh, a one million square meter new facility to be able to, to uh, just supply uh, the, the service that the, the market is demanding at the, at the moment. Uh, geographically, we're uh, in a position where we will be serving uh, multi-airlines uh, and, and, and a good number of airlines in the Middle East and, the, uh, and North Africa. So. Again, we need to supply, uh, transform into the, the to be coping with, with the new technology, with the new demand in the market. So, definitely, the, the new technology is a must, and we need. It's a very competitive market. Unless you cope with this technology, you will be left behind. You know.